Today at the House of Hacks, we have eight tips. Yes, eight tips for soldering electronics. Hi, makers, builders, and do-it-yourselfers. Harley here. If you've subscribed to House of Hacks, I want to say thanks for joining me on a regular basis on this continuing creative journey that we're on. I've been making things my whole life, and here at House of Hacks, I hope to inspire, educate, and encourage people who are like-minded. If this is you, I encourage you to subscribe for more of this type of video. Yesterday I did a video of how to solder, and that was kind of a general overview of any type of soldering. Today we're going to be covering eight tips for soldering electronics. Let's get started. If you're new to electronics, there's a lot of kits available online. I've left a link to them down in the description. I would encourage you to get some and practice because most of soldering is all about technique. It's really not hard, it just takes practice to get comfortable doing it. Have a sponge handy to occasionally wipe off the tip of your soldering iron. This helps get the old flux that accumulates off the tip. Before working on a project, put a small amount of solder on the tip of your soldering iron. This will help the heat transfer as you're working on your project. And anytime you wipe off your tip, you will probably want to put some more on. When assembling projects, start with the smallest components first and then work your way up to the largest components. If you're working with a PCB, put the components in and bend the lead slightly to help hold them in while you solder them. If you're using integrated circuits on your project, it's good to use sockets. This allows you to solder it in without damaging the component, and if the component does get damaged in some way, it's easy to replace. If your project is using point-to-point -point wiring, try to make a mechanical connection first before you applying the solder. When joining wires together, make sure they have a good mechanical connection first. A linesman splice is a good way to do this. And if a mechanical joint isn't possible, go ahead and tin the, the ends first before trying to connect them. I hope you found those tips helpful. Tomorrow we're going to be doing the same thing with plumbing connections. Until then, go make something. Perfection's not required, fun is.